Hi there, I'm John. And I'm Jonathan. And we're here from the Visual Studio LiveShare team to give you a quick overview of VS LiveShare to walk you through getting started and collaborating with VS LiveShare. Let's get started. So getting started, I have Visual Studio on Windows here, and I've installed the LiveShare extension. Since I'm already logged into VS and registered with LiveShare with my personalization account, I'm signed in. If I've signed up for LiveShare with a different account like GitHub, I can switch to this account by going into the LiveShare options. Under Tools, Options, LiveShare, User Account, I can click on the Option button to bring up a dialog to switch credentials. For me, I'm using VS Code on Mac. With the LiveShare extension installed, in the bottom left of the status bar, there is a button called Sign In. By clicking that, it leads me to my browser, which I can sign up using the account I registered for LiveShare with. In this case, I've used GitHub. With both of us signed in, we can start collaborating in a sharing session. I have here a project I've been working on, and I'd like Jonathan to take a look at it. To start sharing, I click on the Share button located at the top right of VS. If I were the one who was sharing from Visual Studio Code, the Share button is located at the bottom left of the status bar where the Sign In button used to be. After clicking on the Sharing button, I get a sharing link that I can use to invite other collaborators. In this case, I'm going to share with Jonathan. We'll be collaborating using LiveShare, but we can use a voice chat program like Teams, Slack, or Skype to communicate while collaborating. You can use the share link to invite whoever you need to collaborate with. Heck, if you even wanted, you could use the link to collaborate with yourself. Let me send this link to Jonathan. On my end, I'll get the link, and by simply clicking on it, my browser will open up and automatically launch VS Code into the sharing session that John sent me. Now that I'm joined into the collaboration session, my editor is open to the file that John currently has open, and I can immediately see his cursor. Additionally, I can see all of the files that make up the project he shared with me. We can start to collaboratively edit the file, seeing what each other types, and seeing each other's cursors. We can also see the highlights that we do within the file. As the guest in this collaboration session, I still get access to things like code navigation, and I can peek the definition of this function, for example, right here. Additionally, I can even do things like go to definition, find all references, and any other navigation capability that I'm used to in my local development. If Jonathan goes off to a different part of the file or a different file altogether, as he's done here, and I lose track of him, I can easily jump to his location by clicking on his name tag in the top right corner of my VS editor. This will snap me to his location in the file. In VS Code, I can do the same action by clicking on the collaborators button right here in the status bar. While jumping to each other's location can be useful in itself, Imagine that what I wanted to do was follow along with everything John was doing on his end, for example, to allow him to repro an issue or help direct me at the problem. To do this, I can use a feature of LiveShare called pinning. At the top right of the VS Code editor is a pin icon that I can click to pin to him. When he moves his cursor within this file, my viewport follows along without me having to manually scroll the file as well. If he moves to a different file in the project, that file also opens for me as well. If I were to click somewhere else or begin editing, I would be immediately unpinned to John so that I can carry on my work and do an investigation independently of him. In VS, I can pin to my collaborator by hovering over their name tag in the top right and I can see a pin icon. Clicking on that pins me to them and now I can follow their actions and behaviors. So we've done some editing around your project, how about we kick off some debugging? Sure, I can simply F5 or click the Run button at the top of VS to start this app, and that will kick off a build. After building, the app starts to run and the UI pops on both mine and Jonathan's screen. Additionally, our debuggers are attached to the running app on my machine. I've set up a breakpoint in the code here, so between the two of us, we can alternate stepping through the app in order to debug. Additionally, on my end, I can utilize debugging features like watches, locals, and data tips from hovering to dive in deeper while debugging as I need to. 
After editing and debugging, I can leave the collaboration session by simply clicking on my name in the status bar and selecting Leave Collaboration Session. If I were the one hosting this session, the option would be End Collaboration Session. In VS, all I need to do is click on the Sharing menu in the top right. This will close the collaboration session and Jonathan will get a notification that the session has ended and that he no longer has access to the files I had previously shared. We hope that this gave you a good overview of the features of LiveShare. Additional documentation for VS LiveShare can be found at aka.ms slash VSLSDocs. And happy collaborating!